hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you a diy facial exfoliating mask you are going to love this mask i've used it for over three years now i don't use it every day or all the time i just remember it anytime i'm having issues with my face but if you have a lot of problems with your face for instance so many pimples you have acne you have white heads all over black heads you have spots all over your face please try this mask out this is a mask you could use like two times in a day in the morning and in in the evening depending on how you like to exfoliate your face okay so it's not going to harm you or do anything to your face i've used this i'm telling you from my own personal experience so i'm going to make this facial mask with just three ingredients and the first is milk milk has a unique ability to repair the skin by reducing wrinkles this is made possible by its rich concentration of B vitamins, calcium and alpha hydroxy acids which aid skin rejuvenation. The second is orange essential oils which are gotten from orange zest or pills and it is an antiseptic and an anti-inflammatory ingredient which helps the skin absorb vitamin C, produce more collagen and increase blood flow on the skin. It helps treat conditions such as eczema and acne. It is overall good in maintaining a smooth and glamorous skin. And the last is oatmeal. Oatmeal is a natural exfoliating ingredient which suits irritated skin. It is very good for sensitive skin which cannot tolerate most store bought exfoliators. Here are the ingredients in my own kitchen. I'm just going to go ahead to grate one big orange, trying as much as possible to take out only the zest. We are taking out only the zest because the oil is found in the zest and we don't need the white part of the orange at all. So when you're going through this procedure, make sure you are careful enough to get out only the zest of the orange. You can see already that I have oil on my fing that I have oil on my fingers and that's what we need. I'm just going to go ahead to add the orange zest in a bowl and then also add my already grounded oatmeal i like to add orange juice but you don't have to add orange juice at all i just add oranges because the orange is just lying there then i also go ahead to add four to five tablespoons of milk feel free to add more milk if the mixture is too thick for you so you can make it more pliable especially when applying it on your face so usually before applying it to my face, I like to open up my pores by washing my face with warm water for about one minute. Then I clean, dry my face and then put the mask all over my face and neck mostly, scrubbing the most problem areas as I go. this mask for about 15 to 20 minutes on your face to dry completely your face will feel very firm and dry then you know that it's time to wash it off go ahead to wash it off also with warm water i like to wash mine in the shower so it's easier for me to take everything all out you can store any leftover mask in the fridge for up to three days after washing your face off it feels completely clean refreshed soft i don't know whatever good feeling you can think of as a final step just apply any moisturizer of your choice on your face i'm going to use coconut oil this night because that's what i've been using on my face and body for some time now so guys i won't also forget to tell you that this facial mask brightens your complexion with constant use so if you want a brighter complexion use it up to three to four times a week and you will see the results in no time thank you guys for watching if you like this video or you find it useful please you know what to do already subscribe to my channel and like this video comment down below if there are other videos that you want to see please let me know down below let me know comments comment comment bye